Okay, so the new way to slice up the Photoshop file is um, you're going to open it, right? You go up to view, you are going to create new guide layout. But what I do is I like to count because let me show you how that looks. You can break it up into columns and rows. So for example, I only want two rows, no gutter, that's the space between them. And then I want a certain amount of uh, rows. Uh, make sure that the center of the columns, even though it's probably is. But what I would do is you got to count how many columns you need. So, you know, this is going to be one cutout. Um, you know, this one can be another one. So one, two, three, four for the patterns. Then we have five for the images six for the buttons, seven for the images, eight for the buttons, and then nine for the social icons. So I'm going to select nine rows in here. Cool. Um, actually, before you do that, we have to drop this one in. Uh, it's already at the top, that's good. And what you do is you got to line it up and for it to be a perfect cutout, you have to line this up. If you see right there, you can see the cutout more, more clearly, but it's got to be lined up in a way where the cutout is not going to be visible. It's a bit tricky sometimes, uh, but there it is. You see, you look at the line, it doesn't look like a cutout anymore. So if I were to move it up one bit, you kind of see it. And so I like to use this point, this, uh, you know, kind of like circle center, this other end point of this main one and over here as well. But as long as you use this area uh, to line it up, it'll usually line up in the whole section as well. Okay, so now I'm going to create the layout to columns, nine rows, perfect. So then when I move this down, it's automatically going to, um, you, you know, it's going to be placed in there right at the cutout automatically. So that's why you need to put the cut out first uh, before doing the layout. Okay, so then we just uh, line it up like that. Uh, and if you see the cryptic icon, it's not really centered. That's why it's nice to have the layouts so you know exactly what the center is. And you know, this is not a big deal or anything. I was just pointing that, that out so you don't use it as the center point. Okay, let's bring that down, this one, the patterns, Maybe a little bit higher, this one and this bottom one like that and now what you do is you go over to the sidebar and you right click on the crop tool to select the slice tool and up here you'll see slices from guides and this will automatically create the slices you know perfectly uh, following the guides that you made so now all you have to do is you right click on it again to select the slice select tool. And you are going to delete the slices that we don't use like that top one, for example, with this one, I'm going to delete this bottom one. It always creates one going all the way to the bottom of the, of the file. Uh, and then what I do is you, if you double click on it, you can name it. 
So cryptic flows. Um, oh, this is welcome series number three and the first one. Okay, so I copy that. And then I, oh, actually, before I do that, uh, this doesn't have to be two columns, right? So I'm going to delete that one. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to delete that one and this one. Because we only need the two columns for this. And if you don't do that, like I said, it'll be a pain to line it up to the center of the file. And I usually line it up to where the line it runs all the way down that purple line. I like that. Select this one. Like that. And that one okay and these ones are good uh, I'm going to modify this ones so uh, what I'm going to do is you go to clear the canvas guides then you're going to select you're going to create new guides and this time we need three columns you know center columns and we only need a uh, just one row. You get one line there and one at the bottom, yeah. So that's all we need. I don't need this one or that one. Okay, so I'm going to move, how do I? Oh, you gotta select the, just the select tool. Let me move that down. And you see it'll snap onto the the slices. Good. Now we go back here to the slice tool and you're going to sl create slices from here. There we go. And you know, that way we know they're perfectly aligned with everything else. So now we go back to the slice select tool and I'm going to name this one. Perfect. And just copy and paste and type in the next number in the sequence. This one five six seven eight Fifteen. Okay. So now that you have those created, remember we need different ones for the mobile section. So what you do is uh, I'm going to clear the canvas guides and you go over to layer new and you create an artboard. I'm named, named this desktop. And I believe it'll automatically select all the layers. If it doesn't, you can drag and drop them inside of here. And then I duplicate this and call it, call it mobile. And fortunately the slices don't get duplicated as well because you know you would have to just modify them and delete them. Okay, so now I go over to slice tool 
and you know just slice it up that. oops here we go How oh, it's too big. And then uh, just, you can just uh, copy that one, like that. This one, you know, you don't really want it to be that long. And then this one, like that. Okay, so now we go back to the slide select tool. We are going to name this, uh, let's name it mobile. Going to be the first one. Four, five. Seven, right, one, yep, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Eleven. So now what you're going to do is you go to file export and you can say save for web legacy and once you're in here you zoom out when while pressing down option and either using the trackpad or your mouse you hold down shift while pressing on each of the slices to select them like that Then the mobile ones. Okay. And now, you know, just make sure that it's the JPEG low. And in this case, you don't need to optimize the file size or, I mean, reduce the files, the file image size. Uh, just the preset and image size, you can leave it at whatever that is. Okay, so now we go over to save. I'm in the correct one. And in slices, select all user slices. Otherwise, if you see like there's an automatically generated slice in here and in there, uh, you would just get all of those images. And, you know, it, it could get confusing. So that's why you select only all user slices and it automatically selects all of them. And actually, uh, I'm going to delete this because I remember that for the flows, we actually leave it at JPEG high. So it's a better quality. So I'm going to come back, redo this. that 
Uh, you can also see the file size in here. If you're not sure if you selected it or if you selected it or not, uh, just check the file. If you click on it and again and it goes down, it means it was selected. So make sure you select it. Uh, same thing for the other ones. Of course, these are very small images, but let's say you selected that one. You see it goes down by quite a bit. All right. So uh, now that everything is selected, make sure up here to select JPEG high. Uh, again, don't alter the image size. We're going to click on save. And all user slices, it's already selected. Good. And now we have the files. Mm -hmm.